You are King Kong in his story. You want the story? Yeah. King Kong is a giant gorilla with supernatural strength. He was a god while he was in Africa. The reason why they call him King Kong is because Congo is Central Africa and they're implying everybody in Africa, the Congo. The king is under the spell. In his own land in Africa, he's worshipped by his own people. Every night, he would come to their town or their village, but yet, and he had a big fence built up against him. With me? And he would, they would have offerings of young virgins for him. And he would come to the town, and they would put the virgins up there, and that would appease him, and he would go about his business. And he lived like that. It was all right. Everybody was happy. Some Canaanites came along, stumbled into their village, and it came evening, and they had to start running and closing the gates, if you remember. Remember that? And they got scared and said, what's going on? They said, close the gates, the boomba, Kong was coming. They was in love with you know, stuff that they play. And in time, they heard these large boom, boom, steps. And they saw King Kong, and the first thing that came to their mind is how to get King Kong back to America on stage so they can make some money out of it. So what they did is they lured him with a white woman. Because he was used to that. So the Africans said, if we give him her, he might not want to come back at all. See the brain washed? So King Kong kidnaps the white woman runs off into the woods, thus starts the episode of the Hammerites going throughout Africa to get the kings, the giants, and bring them to America. Eventually, they sedate King Kong while he is trying to have a sexual relationship with this white woman. And they inject him, sedate him, tie him down, put him on a ship, and Sail him to the passage over to America. When he gets to America, they present him before the public, chained down, and all these Amorites are in a party having a good time. That's you. Chained down mentally while the Amorites have a good time. He'll let you in the party, but you're going to be the clown, nigga. So moving on, it was about the music that won the case. All right, let's get back to where we was at. So what they did is they removed those instruments that vibrate without chemistry. And now every Negro got some synthetic instrument in his basement. He's pushing little Casios and Panasonics and all fake. All removing the essence. Back to the point. The Rainbow Project, which is sending out these wavelengths that is called mind control, started back there with who? Rainbow Project. Who's Rainbow? Phoenix Rainbow. Phoenix Rainbow. Now, Phoenix Rainbow. Test who's a part of what? Phoenix. Rainbow. Bellic. Remember? Time Machine, Philadelphia Experiment? Well, the Philadelphia Experiment was initially intended for the sole purpose of creating invisibility for radar, which they already had called the stuff. You understand? When they got into it, the mathematicians who got involved in it found out that also they can interfere with the brain because of what they refer to as zero time reference. That if all five or six of y'all went through a time loop here, when you came back, Abdul Baik would be affected one way, you'd be affected another, she another, she another, and him another. They found that out. They realized that time has something to do with now. That time in the future has already happened, and time in the past is still happening. I think I told you all about that years ago. I said, if a person's adrenaline is a high point when they die, it will stamp in now. And they will reiterate that incident. And this is why people sometimes think they're driving along and they see a ghost run across the road. 
and it is calibrated that they come back to that same spot every year or sometimes every 10 years, depending on how it aligns, that that same thing will happen over and over again. A lot of hauntings, as they call them, they make clear that this is a haunted house. What happens? A woman walks along that staircase every night at 12 o'clock on the dock. And so people come in, they set up monitors, and lo and behold, it's a disembodied soul, an exoplasm, an ethereum, an essence that is trapped in now. They can't get out of now. Now keeps happening over and over. The event was so traumatizing that they can't get out of it. It's happening all the time. It's called lost souls, trapped souls, trapped in limbo. They got terms for days about it. It happens already in your mind if you don't think it's possible. And I'll tell you when it has happened. There are incidents in your life where regardless of what you're doing, you'll flash back to a certain corner where an event took place. If you had friends or something, you hung out on one spot and it could have been 20, 30 years ago, you can flash back to that. Or you can flash back to an incident in a concert where you was having a good time. Or you can flash back to falling off a bike or whatever. But you have these things that have, are called now already taking place in your mind and you are away from it sometimes 10, 15, and 20 years. Everybody here has had one of those events stamped in their mind. And that event reoccurs periodically. But what keeps you from being trapped in the now of that event is that the body is dying forwardly. You see? Because when you were born, you started dying. You hear me? And you were dying because your cells were dying. You must expire. That's why they call it expiring. Expiration. You must expire before you can become totally ethereal again. But the events that take place while you are expiring, they stamp themselves in now. Like, go back to not the Savior's Day, but the last Savior's Day. And remember an event. And when you remember the event, you are reliving right now. Write it down, So now is, now is the all. The all is not moving forward with you. And the all is not left in the past with you. Everything that takes place has a purpose or it won't. Light, for instance. Light was a necessity to exist within a certain period of time in the all. Light didn't begin with the all, because if light began with the all, then the all would be light. God, Allah, Om, Theos, Hashem, Adonai, Yahweh, Elohim, all of them are events in the all appropriated for specific time zones when they needed to be. That is why I said to you years ago, before you believed in Allah, he didn't exist. Before you knew of Allah, he didn't exist. Because all that really exists to you is you right now. And when you're talking to a Negro, and they're talking about what's going to happen, you tell them that's not important. What's importing, see, what's importing, what's moving on, is right now. And how much time I waste talking to you, and what I benefit or lose while talking to you. Because whenever you come in contact with any two people, I mean, or any two people come in contact with each other, one is gaining and one is losing. If you give something to somebody, I don't care what they argue, they're still just another human being, you've lost. If they give something to you, you've gained. How do you utilize now? If you come out here 
and you talk to me, I give you something that you take with you forever. It's like saying, see that puddle over there? Don't fall. So now when you leave me, and as you encounter people in each event of now in your life, you come to find out things I say become important at the moment. Meaning, someone starts a conversation, and you say, that's interesting. Pop was just talking about that. Bam, you're right on. <laughs>